An acid and a base react with one another to neutralize one another, forming a salt solution and water. We have a base in the conical flask over here, and the base that we're using is called sodium hydroxide. And then inside the burette, clamped here to a retort stand, is an acid, sulfuric acid. We're going to add the sulfuric acid, drop by drop, to the sodium hydroxide until the end point when equivalent amounts of sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid have reacted to completely neutralize the solution. How will we recognize that we've reached that point? We need universal indicator to help us. So we're going to add some universal indicator now to the contents of the conical flask and we notice that it turns purple and that's because of the presence of the sodium hydroxide which is a base. Now we're going to add the sulfuric acid drop by drop by opening up the tap of the burette and that allows a little bit of sulfuric acid to come out at a time and you'll notice that as that happens you see the color for a, a localized area turns and that's because just in that area we're getting some neutralization but it's not actually throughout the entire um, volume of the liquid but when we reach the end point then the entire volume will turn green because at that point we won't have either acid nor base present but rather only the salt sodium sulfate present and we're just about there we're almost at at the green color and remember that for universal indicator green indicates the presence of a, of a neutral substance and you see there we have reached the end point.